Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today, my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make ube ice cream from scratch using a stand mixer. Out of all the ube flavored desserts out there, I'd have to say ube ice cream is my all-time favorite. It's smooth, creamy, and ube flavored. What's not to love? I agree. July is National Ice Cream Month, and ice cream is always popular in the summer, but if you're like us, we like ice cream all year round. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very important that you keep everything very cold throughout this process. To start, take the bowl of your stand mixer and another bowl that fits under your stand mixer and place both bowls in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. Then, in a separate mixing bowl, add in one can, which is 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk and half a cup of ube halaya, and mix these together till they are well combined. We're going to put the sweetened condensed milk and ube halaya mixture into the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes to cool as well. Once your bowls have cooled, take the bowl that fits under the stand mixer and create an ice water bath by adding four cups of ice cubes and sprinkling one cup of kosher salt over the ice. Stir in the salt till it's well dispersed. Adding salt to the ice lowers the melting point of the ice, causing the ice to melt while still below the freezing point of water, which will create an extremely cold ice water bath. This will be placed under our stand mixer bowl and chill the ingredients as they are whipped together. If more ice water is needed, depending on the size of your ice water bath bowl, create more by mixing one part salt to four parts ice. Once you have the ice bath ready, set up your stand mixer such that the ice bath sits under the stand mixer bowl, submerging the bottom of the stand mixer bowl in the ice water bath. For our setup, we're using a cork trivet to elevate the ice water bath a bit so the bottom of the stand mixer bowl is submerged in the ice bath. And if you don't have a stand mixer, you can make this using a hand mixer. Just make sure that you have a big enough bowl to whip all the ingredients in. And we recommend using a metal bowl to mix the ingredients in so it's thermally conductive and helps spread the cold. Into the bowl of your stand mixer, add in two cups of cold heavy cream, one cup of evaporated milk, one tablespoon of ube extract, and the condensed milk ube halaya mixture that was chilled earlier, and a pinch of kosher salt. With a whisk attachment, beat on medium-high speed for 12 to 15 minutes or until it becomes a fluffy texture that forms soft peaks, i.e. the texture of whipped cream. Once you start seeing soft peaks, detach the stand mixer bowl from the stand mixer. Keep the stand mixer bowl submerged in the ice bath, cover the whole thing with plastic wrap, then place it in the freezer for four hours. If both bowls don't fit in the freezer, you can just put the stand mixer bowl in the freezer and create a new batch of ice water bath after the four hour wait. After four hours, take everything out of the freezer and set up the bowls on the stand mixer like before with the stand mixer bowl submerged in the ice bath. Beat on high speed for two minutes or until it starts to look smooth. The mixture will deflate and begin to look like the texture of soft serve. Here we're just breaking down any large ice crystals and spreading it around evenly. After two minutes of the second mixing step, quickly pour the ice cream mixture into a freezer-friendly container with a lid or several containers as needed depending on the size of your containers. This recipe makes about two quarts of ice cream. Cover and chill it in the freezer for a minimum of 24 hours. A minimum of 24 hours in the freezer is needed, otherwise your ice cream will melt very quickly. And there it is, delicious ube ice cream from scratch using a stand mixer. Serve it with any toppings you like, but we like our ube ice cream plain and simple. Ang sarap. Mm, yum. Mm. So good. I love the little bits of ube from the ube halaya. And the evaporated milk and the condensed milk make this so rich and creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this ube ice cream. Send us pictures of your creations on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Links below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. And for our written recipes, be sure to check out cookingwithkurt.com.
Maraming salamat! Maraming salamat.